Everybody, it's Charles, your hobby hero. I've got another CGC unboxing for you today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the bottom of the corner. I do appreciate it. And I put out regular content about the hobbies I love the most. Now, this is actually the second part of a bigger submission that I had sent to CGC. They ship them separately because if you aren't aware, CGC will only ship out uh, books and lots of 25 at a time. I'll post the link for the first half of the video up here. Uh, this was a submission that was sent, the final submission that was sent to a uh, professional presser before I started pressing my own books. We have seen everything uh, imaginable come back from these pressings. We've had books that were not properly pressed. We've had books that were damaged by CGC. We've had books where I was just completely crazy on <laughs> what I thought was going to happen when I sent these books in. And we've got a book that's still out missing. So update on that one. Uh, my Ultimate Fallout 4 first print is still missing. It has been on its way to the shipping department at CGC for three weeks. Um, so hopefully we'll have some more good news on that one here soon. Uh, just eight books here, so it should be a fairly quick submission. All books were graded, but based on the submission from last time, I think the pre-screen was set pretty low, like a 9.4. So they'll all be 9.4 or better, uh, but we don't know what they got on there, so I'll keep the grades hidden just for added suspense. Uh, first one up, Star Wars High Republic. This is the cover A. I actually have a ton of the cover A. This book uh, I have been very high on for a while, and it is starting to heat up. Uh, for a long time, uh, these books were hovering around that $80 to $100 mark here recently. Uh, several sales in that $150 uh, price range. The version of this that I'm really heavy on is the Walmart exclusive. Uh, as just population numbers are, and the 9.8 is much, much lower percentage and number-wise of 9.8s for that particular book. So first one up here, nice, 9.8. Uh, this one will be staying with me for a little while. If you're not familiar with the book, ton of first appearances in this book. Uh, and again, just in general, first appearances for Star Wars do very well. But this book's got some added speculation behind it on future Disney product or productions. And if the ended up coming into the Disney verse of Star Wars, this book is just absolutely going to explode with the number of appearances it has in it. Another book's been heating up here recently, Spider-Gwen. Number one, this one was in the boxed Heroes boxes that I uh, got here recently. I think there's two of them maybe in this submission. Um, this book here, also very hot here lately due to her uh, presence in the Into the Spider-Verse and coupled with the giant Gwenverse event that's coming to the Marvel Comics. This one we've got a, a 9.4. see it I don't see like a single spine tick corners are sharp no color rub uh, man, should I get in a light I don't know um, if there yeah, are any notes I'll throw them up on the screen for you guys I I don't see anything on this book. Um, yeah, uh, that, that's a head scratcher. Um, I, I may have to crack this one open, take a look at it uh, outside of the case, see if we can submit it, uh, resubmit it. Big difference between a 9.4 and a 9.8 on that book. Uh, and just a great looking 9.4. All right, next book here. We've got Amazing Spider-Man 362. This is the second appearance of Carnage. Just an awesome front cover here as well. We've got 9.8, very nice. Uh, book is not worth a ton, but any of these older books uh, in ASM and a 9.8 are worth holding on to. Uh, clearly the nicest copy of this one that I have uh, in my collection, so that will be my PC copy going forward. We got here, we've got okay, we had a, uh, I think four copies of this on our last submission. I think the highest grade any of those came back was a 9.6. One of them, the newsstand, did not make the cutoff at 9.4. 
This one we have in a 9.8. Very nice. First appearance of Scream. I don't know if this one looks any nicer than the 9.6s that we got before. Uh, but quite possibly, in all likelihood, different grader on this batch of 8 than we had on the batch of 25. Alright, next one up. Okay, we've got Jupiter's Legacy number one. This is the cover A. Uh, now, this book has dropped off tremendously since the show was canceled, unfortunately. Uh, again, these were submitted almost a year ago, so the show was peak popularity, and the announcement for its canceling had not been made yet. Uh, so we've got this one in a 9.8. Very nice. Uh, that one also came from the Boxed Heroes boxes. I think every box had a copy of Jupiter's Legacy number one. Uh, this one also came from it. This is the Noto variant on this one. Ooh, 9.6 on this one. Uh, it does have some color rub. Actually, I think that's just the pattern on the back. Hmm. Got like a really bitty, itty bitty baby spine tick. And that may just be enough to do it. It's definitely not worth resubmitting uh, as the cost to regrading it. It's worth more than the value of a 9.6 to a 9.4. Uh, okay, another Spider Gwen. Uh, again, this one came from the Box Heroes boxes. Uh, Spider Gwen number one, Scotty Young variant, and a 9.8. Very nice. And last slab. We've got Wonder Woman number seven, George Perez cover. This is the first appearance of a new cheetah. Uh, this one, this one also came from the Box Heroes uh, collection of comics that we had in there. Book has been going up uh, again, largely due to the fact that the cover artist George Prez health is failing, so a lot of people are scrambling to get his his books um, just to have them in his collection in their collection because I, I don't believe he'll be doing any more more signings um, just due to his failing health. What we got in the grade, though, is a 9.6. Um, I mean, there's a couple, like, really small things on it. Um, I mean, it's still a really clean-looking copy. I'm not complaining. About a 9.6 from a comic back from 1987. Almost as old as I am. I uh, don't know if I'll hold on to that one or not. I think I've got a couple of the Wonder Woman number ones from this run that are at CGC right now that are 9-8 contenders. Um, again, I, I didn't read the run. Uh, there's something in the case. There's a whole lot of something in that case. <laughs> I can get you here. Um, I don't know if I can get it on the screen yet. Right there. You see that? It's like packing foam <laughs> or something in there. I have not ever seen a piece of debris quite that large inside the case. Very interesting. Uh, Alright, well that's what we have for there. So like I said, never a dull moment with those four submissions. But with this submission, the saga of the books outside of my control as far as pressing goes, has basically come to a conclusion with the exception of that last remaining Ultimate Fallout 4. Uh, if you want to get updates on that, make sure you have that notifications bell clicked so that whenever that video does drop, you'll be notified on that. Till next time, guys. Hobby Hero, out.